Howdy and good morning. Today I decided to be extra for absolutely no reason um, because usually I just have a piece of toast for breakfast, if that. Uh, and I'm gonna make a very, very, very elementary form of shakshuka because I love egg dippy things and I have a cast iron skillet preheating so 10 out of 10. I also realized that I had like tons of chopped tomatoes like canned chopped tomatoes and I was like why do you have so many of these? So this is sort of a, a cooking because I need to get rid of some stuff in my pantry um, kind of recipe. I do have onion, I've got garlic, I've got some avocado that we'll put on top of everything. Um, so we'll get a little bit of green in there, which is nice, but I don't have like parsley or anything like that. Ooh, you know what else I have though? I do have this really good um, Aleppo pepper that I got a little while ago, and this is so lemony and zesty and delicious. And like, I think it's just gonna make everything taste amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some breakfast. So I don't know if you can tell, but this is piping hot. We've got our onions and our garlic. That's gonna go in. Woo, that already smells so good. Oh God, our garlic is burning. No garlic. Okay guys, so for this shakshuk, like I said, I went super simple. I had a whole can of chopped tomatoes. I had half a white onion, two cloves of garlic, and a whole lot of love. No, also two eggs, which I put in now while I'm FaceTiming my friend, because that happens while you cook sometimes, doesn't it just? Isn't, it, isn't that just the way? No matter what I do, all I think about is you. Singing. To the shakshuk makes it taste better. I have nothing else to say on that. I added some avocado, some salt, and pep. Um, because I'm lazy and I just want to eat because we're about to go climbing, um, I'm going to eat this straight out of the pan like the little piggy I am. Part of the reason why I wanted to make shakshuko is because I have a bunch of old sort of stale bread that I wanted to eat this with so I could feel like an old baroness eating dried bread dipped in various delicious things. Um, so I'm just gonna do exactly that. Oh, girls, gays, and theys, do we have a day for you today. Hey, remember this little pottery incident that happened? Well, look at her now. Gleaming, beautiful, brilliant. It's time to do some trimming today. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I am going to nerd out on pottery in this section of the video, and you're just gonna have to deal with it because you signed up for this, okay? So while Erin is trimming by hand right here, I cleaned up my pottery a little bit, and then it was time to head back to the wheel. We've got some real trimming to do. As you can see, this thing goes fast. This baby gets some real speeds so that you can get this little foot ring around your bowls nice and tight and right, okay? I've got uh, clay built up all around my leather hard pottery, which is the really the first stage of drying. It just means that it's dry enough to be able to carve into it. Um, so I'm, I'm doing just that. And this was actually the crappier bowl of the two, but I think the foot ring looks kind of lit. Like, look how good that looks. Shoo, -wee! that's a pretty foot ring. And then it was time for our big boy. This was the bowl. This was the iconic bowl that didn't look like it did so well. But you know what? As with most things in life, I just gave it a little tender love and care. And this little bad boy popped right back up. Everything was totally fine. And can I just say, carving into your pottery like this has to be top 10 ASMR satisfying tingles. Also, I love Aaron being a helpful friend right here and being like, oh, I really like those curls. I think that's literally what he was saying in this clip. I think he was like, oh, these curls are so cool. Um, but anyways, 
This is pottery, and boy oh boy, was it a fun time. Look how satisfying this is, I can't get over it. You do this at this stage, you carve in at this stage because the, the clay can take it, but even then you still have to be kind of careful. So you might see me, um, you know, listening to the clay, like tapping it like a little drum to make sure it doesn't get too thin. And then you get to peel off all that clay that you use to hold it in place, which is another super satisfying part of pottery. And then look at our beautiful baby. We're gonna have to rejig and, and re-gig the shape of it a little bit, but like overall, look at look at how far this bowl has come. From disaster to master peace. So proud. Oh hello. Quick little break mid-video here to say a big old thank you to our sponsor, which is Blue Diamond Whole Natural Almonds. Yes, I'm sponsored by almonds. Blue Diamond Whole Natural Almonds are a delicious superfood that help you feel more beautiful from the inside out by adding key nutrients into your diet that promote healthy skin, hair, nails, and restfulness. We love getting some sleep with vitamin E, magnesium, and biotin. You have a wonderful superfood snack on your hands with five grams of protein per serving. If you'd like to get your hands on these delicious little snacks, they should be available nationwide, and they're also available at amazon.com and walmart.com. You can check out Blue Diamond's product locator if you wanna find a store near you. So thank you again to Blue Diamond Whole Natural Almonds for sponsoring this little video. And let's get on to our next day. Today was the day I was anticipating quite heavily because it was time to get to the root of the problem. My roots. Took a little almond snack break, little Blue Diamond almond snack break in the middle of doing my hair. Uh, also, look how good it looks. Just fresh out, little blowout. Not gonna lie, I had a little feeling myself moment after this was all done. I put on the most Barbie, Malibu Barbie outfit that is possible. Pink thrifted tank top, shirt that Will's had since he was like 12. And then I hopped on the tube because I was gonna get lunch. And to my surprise and horror, there was human hair stuck to my foot. Anyways, but we also had a delicious little time. <laughs> Bone apple tea. What a shift, what a tone shift. Look how delicious this was. Asparagus, it did make my pee smell a little bit, but other than that, it was just delicious and wonderful. And I, I le only left crumbs. I only left crumbs. Now, because you suffered through hearing about human hair stuck to my foot, you get to see the prettiest footage of the whole video, which is us swimming in the river. Look how pretty it is. We got slush puppies and enjoyed ourselves. And this is what summer in London is all about. I hope you enjoyed spending these past couple weeks with me via this video. And if you like this kind of thing, let me know uh, down in the comments down below. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.